What is going on, everybody? So, this is a token that a handful of people have asked me to look into because it's launching sometimes this sometime this month. It's typical Twitter, bunch of shells, bunch of retweeting, nothing really of importance. All right. So let's go to the website. It says they're located in Australia, and I'm going to tell you why that's important here in a second. So the website itself has that casino vibe to it. You know, that the lights, the things to draw you in. So they did a good job on that because that's obviously their purpose is to lure you in with all this stuff here. Now, I went to both of these guys' Twitter. And the first thing I see is a lot of retweeting. Nothing really of importance whatsoever. You can tell this guy's a Saitama guy, which... We both know I don't really care about Saitama or people that are connected to them. So let's go look at the other guy. He's in Queensland. So what's interesting here is they post a lot of stuff about Australian gambling and online betting and all this stuff. And I want to show you why that's important here in a minute. So, lights, camera, action. You know, websites got a lot of stuff to kind of draw you in. They do not have a Surtech, so I don't know why they have a Surtech logo on their site. That seems to be the common practice now. Then people that don't even pass a Surtech want to use that on their site to look good to new investors. Absolutely not. Huge red flag right off the bat. So... Obviously, when you go to click the Surtech audit, nothing happens because they don't have an audit. They're saying they got a major partnership listing, development on the gambling platform, part-time social media team. Who the fuck has a part-time social media team? I mean, these projects are a lot of work. Like, you have to be available 24-7 to your investor and your community. So why they would say part-time social media team is beyond me. So I find it interesting. They say this, that 9% goes to a major partnership, but they don't want to list who that is. Um, as an investor, I want to know where 9% of the money is going. Like, I don't want to hear no. It's a secret or, you know, we'll announce it eventually. Nah. You say that shit up front if you're going to ask for 9% of our money. So it obviously hasn't launched yet. But I want to show you something important. So the white paper, another one of them flashy things kind of draw you in. So as ambitious as this project is acting like it's going to be, you're telling me that these are the two people behind the whole project? I don't buy it. So a bunch of stuff about the contract has built-in weekly contests, custom contract, live events, then they you know talk about online gambling market. Using your smartphone. Now here's here's where I call bullshit. 
So they want to launch. They want you to invest your money. They're saying that they're using 9% for a major partnership listing. They're going to de- begin development on the gambling platform. And then phase two, now they want to register as a corporate entity. Then they want to apply for a gaming license. Like, who's to say you're going to get a gaming license to begin with? You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody said you're going to be giving a gaming license. You can apply all you want. That don't mean shit. You know? So, that's another huge red flag. So, let's go look at something else here. This is the Australian Interactive Gambling Act of 2001. It's illegal to provide some interactive gambling activities such as online casinos to someone in Australia. Even though this guy says he lives in Australia. That includes roulette, poker, craps, online pokies, and blackjack. Any game of chance, including games of mixed chance and skilled player over the internet, is prohibited under the Interactive Gambling Act of 2001 if it's provided to someone who is physically in Australia. I mean, so let me get this straight. You can't do this in Australia, but they're based in Australia. It is illegal to advertise interactive online gambling to Australian audiences. So basically, they want to advertise to all of you and get you to buy into this project when they can't even do it in their home country. I absolutely would not touch this project no one said they're going to get approved for a gambling license or a gaming license to begin with you can clear as day come to the Australian government website here and read this for yourself you know what I mean I'm not buying it I think it's another money grab And I've been in the Telegram all day, and majority of these people are just pumping it, and they're talking about, you know, a fair launch. Any of you that have been in the crypto industry, you know there's no such thing as a fair launch. Maybe one in a thousand. What they do is there's a group prior to a fair launch that goes in and buys 10 minutes before the public gets the contract, and they load their bags up with quadrillions of coins. And then since they've pumped this up for a month straight, you get in and these people make ungodly money and they dump their bags on you. But you can look up all these gambling rules by yourself. Um, But it just don't seem right. And so they reached out to another YouTube influencer and because they thought that person was with RM Doxed, they decided not to do a interview with her. So that just tells me that these people have got something to hide and this isn't going to be everything they say it is. So I just want you guys to tread carefully. I don't buy it. I don't think this is a good project to put your money in. And there's no guarantee they're going to be granted any kind of gaming license in Australia.